You see, with his approach, it's, it's more it's more filmic. Yo, it's Aswa here, and welcome to the channel. So, just a quick rundown. I am Aswa. I am a film director. I mainly uh, direct TV commercials, and basically, what this channel is about is me introducing to you guys some really cinematic, and uh, I'd say epic. TV commercials. I I basically introduced to you some really cool directors and cool commercials that have inspired me and my work、uh, as a film director. So this channel, hopefully, I can open the door and introduce to you some cool commercials that you were probably not aware of, or which may influence you as a up and coming、uh, commercial director. And so today. Is a really exciting episode because I'd say he's probably my in my top five commercial directors. So the director I'll be introducing to you today is Rob Chu. So Rob Chu, he's mainly known for his car commercials. But before we dive into his work,、uh, please support the channel by giving it a like, leave a comment down below. But most importantly, please subscribe. It'll help. My channel will reach out to a wider audience. Okay, so back to Rob Chu. So with Rob Chu, he's mainly known for his car commercials, but he has a very、um, unique approach. So as you may be aware, with most car commercials, they tend to、uh, focus more on the on the features of the car. Okay, so his car commercials、uh, tend to be more narrative based, as in there's more storytelling and there's a more human side. It'll be a lot more evident when you see the commercial that I'm about to show you. By the way, I I have a story to tell that's somewhat in regards to Rob Chu's work, but、uh, you'll have to watch till the end of this episode to to find out. His 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 car commercials are really truly amazing. Like just the the visuals, the storytelling, the sound design, just. Just everything, just the whole, just the total package.、Um, he really、um, brings that cinematic approach to his car ads. Yeah, so he did a really good interview with、uh, Patrick O'Sullivan.、Um, it's a podcast、uh, called The Wandering DP. So check that one out. And I think he did one with、um, the podcast was called Good. Yeah, they discuss how. So there was a point in his life where he wasn't getting much work, and he he、um, he put together a spot for McLaren. It was、um, I think it was a pretty low budget、uh, commercial, but、um, but yeah, it looks it, it looks truly amazing.、Um, you can check that out on his Vimeo page or on his website. I'll I'll leave a link below. But basically, it's shot in extreme slow motion in the rain. It's、uh, yeah, it looks even to this day, it looks amazing. So so do check that one out. But yeah, do do check out those interviews. I would highly recommend、uh, for those who are interested in becoming、um, a commercial director, or or just even those of you who are interested in getting into the film industry. It's、uh, it's truly inspiring. So check out those podcasts. Okay, so today's spot is、um, a commercial he did for Porsche or Porsche. I don't know in which part of the country you're from, but I know in Australia they call it Porsche. I think in in Europe and maybe in the US they call it Porsche. I'm used to Porsche, to be honest. But tell me what what you guys call it. Do you call it Porsche or Porsche? So, without further ado, let's check out this commercial, shall we? And here we go. Man, the cinematography is just amazing. These moments. The lighting. We seek them. You see, with his approach, it's, it's more. It's more filmic, as in.、Uh, You know, each of us on our own. It's not overly saturated, and and yet we share these moments. 
We let yeah, the where, world where, know where they shoot this. we're alive. I'm curious. Almost feels like being together. Yeah, I mean Almost. the locations are amazing. I'm, I'm what's curious how many days they took to rush. to film this spot. Five days. Maybe? What's better than being connected by the thrills we experience? That lion. Was that lion stock footage? What's I can't imagine them actually shooting a real lion. Oh, here we go again. And synchronize. If this ever reaches out to Rob Maybe or just anyone who's involved in this spot, um, tell me, did they actually shoot a lion or, or was that just stock once. footage? Right out there. Man, where is this location? On the road. So nice. This is what we do. Yeah. On every corner. In every seat. Beautiful. On every joyride. Let's So many layers, together. so many. The new Cayenne. Porsche. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Pretty awesome, huh? So, so the the internet is like, yeah, the internet's quite lagging and it's a bit annoying. Well, it's annoying for me. I hope it's not as annoying to you, the viewers who are watching this. Damn you, internet. Damn you, damn you, damn you. I also just realized that this spot was edited by by actually a friend of mine, his name's Matt Osborne. He's also an Australian like myself. And yeah, he's currently based in Shanghai. You can probably check out some of his work. But yeah, he, he put this one together. Awesome job, Matt. So this keeps lagging. As I promised, um, I have a little story to tell. I had a, I had a pre-production meeting with, uh, with an agency. And I remember, yeah, so so when I was up to present in front of the agency, so I showed some of Rob Chu's work as my visual reference. Yeah, it was it, it was a really embarrassing moment because my mind just went blank and I totally forgot what I was going to say. And I think it was a good two minutes. I had nothing to say. To me, it felt like 30 minutes. And that's what happens when you're not fully prepared. <laughs> so lesson learned. Don't ever go into a presentation thinking that you can just do things on the fly. Always be prepared. That was a hard lesson learned. But yeah, it was a long two minutes of my brain just going blank and just not knowing what to say. I remember there was a lot of um, um, ah, uh, ah uh going on. So that's my little rant, my little story. <laughs> so always be prepared as a as a director, or yeah, when you're when you're doing any kind of uh, presentation. I do remember, however, that the agency were pretty blown away with uh, with Rob Chu's work. I remember they were pretty enthusiastic by the time I showed a few of his stuff. So anyway, it, at the end of the day. Um, we ended up with a really cool project and uh, and yeah, uh, please support the channel by giving it a like and leave a comment. For those of you who are really interested in becoming film directors or who are interested in being in the film industry, um, yeah, let me know. I will, I'm more than happy to help out. Um, even with this channel, there'll be times I'll be, I, I may um, talk about my experiences in certain areas. Um, even giving some tips, perhaps, talking about some some experience that I had as a film director, things that I've learned along the way, things that I'm still learning, things that I can improve or things that I have improved. And so, um, yeah, do keep on checking out this channel. You can help support this channel by, like I said, by liking, leaving a comment, and also by subscribing. Yeah, so tell me, what do you think of this commercial? And um, have you seen any other really cool car spots that you perhaps may have stumbled upon? But yeah, go go do check out Rob Chu's work. They're really amazing. And, and like I said, he, he's probably 
one of my top five commercial directors. Uh, I believe the DOP, the cinematographer for this spot was um, Khalid or Khalid, I think his name is. He's, he's also done a lot of spots. He's also filmed a lot of stuff for Solomon and you can go to my back catalog and check out um, an episode I did about Solomon. Uh, he's, yeah, I'd say he's my top, um, top director at this point in time. So yeah, go, go check out that, that episode. Also, um, yeah, go check out some of my work at aswahan.com. Follow me on Instagram at aswa underscore han. Check out my Patreon. So again, leave a comment down below. If you are a film director or cinematographer or anyone in the film industry, and there's a spot that you think I should check out, leave a comment, leave a link down below. I am more than happy to check that out. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Whoosh.